boxing is a great sport, but also can be a brutal sport. And make no mistakes about it. Like the person, if he can take you out, he's going to take you out, right? And so that's the way boxing is. It, you know, personally, I don't like uh, I don't like to get hit, but I but it, I guess I do, right? You know, gets my adrenaline going, right? Uh, I mean, I boxed 11 years from 1973 to 1984. I mean, I had a lot of good fights. I won five or six different gold gloves. I won Seattle, Northwest Pacific gold gloves. I won twice. Missoula, Montana gold gloves. I won. Alberta gold gloves. I won. I fought some top-notch guys. And then I uh, tore my knee on the hill. And it just, you just know that it, it's, it's too, the injury injuries too far. My goal was to uh, train for the 1984 Olympics. And uh, when that didn't happen, uh, my life was sort of uh, at a standstill. I'm finally last year in January. I'm, I'm 49. I come 50, so I'm 49 still. But I said, you know what? That'd be a good goal for me, if something to shoot for, to, to be a, a 50, be a world champion. Very good. And rest in there, love. Rest in there. I'm not going there for just a fight. I'm going there to win, right? And it's just my competitiveness. So I got to be the best I can be, and half the battle is being in shape. I know there's a big difference between an 18, 19 year old guy and a 50 year old guy, right? But I needed a new outlook. You know, I always set goals. I always like to set goals. And I have no issues about turning 50, but I just needed to, I needed something new and be around it and train. And it's been hard. The body doesn't recover like it used to. Um, there'll be guys that my age category is, is the 45 to the 55 year old category. Hopefully, I can fight someone 55 near the end. <laughs> There's a big difference between 50 and 55. <laughs> so, I have nothing to prove. I did. I you know I had around, over 100 fights, but. For me, it's it's a great, uh, it's a nice rush, it's an adrenaline rush. It took me uh, over a year to convince my wife and my son. They're supporting me now. It's taken a while. It's taken a while, but you know, it's just out of worry. It's just out of, you, I guess it's someone you love is your family. I want to tell you, I don't make no lie. I, I want to win. I got to win. I want to win. But uh, most of all, I want to go and know and have a good, a good experience training. I took eight months of my life and trained, and I want to have a good fight. I don't mind if I lose. No one likes to lose, but if I have a good fight and it was like a great fight and I feel good I did, that's the most important part. And if I don't, so be it, but I'm not going there to lose. 35-year-old. Tournament. There's 2,000 boxes there, and plus all the people, there's six rings going on. As soon as I went into the ring, it was all forgotten. I, I felt like my feet were so light, my hands were so fast. And all I said is just like, enjoy the moment. That's what I'm here for. It's the one last time. Enjoy the moment. So I just let the punches go right away from the start, and I just established it was, it was, my, it was, my, it was my round. I was pretty sure I had set the tone, and I felt good about the second round. And I, in about 10, 15 seconds left, I could feel a little tired, you know, but it's just, I knew I had done really good in the first two rounds. And I said, this is for my son, Brandon, right? I said, I'm not gonna let, you know, I just went, I just let him go out and fly. They say, you know, the fight's over, and I probably could have won another couple of rounds, right? Uh, when I won, I was so happy, my friends were all crying, the grown men crying, you know, five different types of guys, right? And they're all, I was like, this is incredible. I don't think I've been so excited for for a long time. You know, it made me feel really young. This is the last fight. This is the last, maybe I'm 75. I might try it. <laughs>